Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Overworld Games, and we are back covering Assassin's Creed Unity. As you know, I have been covering this game extensively. Really looking forward to it uh, at Overworld Games, and oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> um, so yeah, now we're in the Twilight Zone. So I don't recommend anyone doing that. <laughs> Looks like a ballerina right there. Okay, so once again we are back. Thank you guys for joining me and um, in this video we're going to be taking a look at uh, customization, uh, free roam gameplay, the weapons, all of it. We're going to be going over basically everything you want to see for the outfits, uh, stuff like that. So we're going to hop straight into the outfit as you can see the world is just gorgeous though I know you guys also want to see that but I'm also going to include in the description um, a guide so you can skip ahead uh, to the free roam segment if you want to uh, see that so you don't have to look at all this but we're going to start with the gear because I know a lot of you really do like decking out your character let's go into the weapons first of all as you can see I unlocked this um, coat uh, when playing co-op with UB Central and be sure to check out his YouTube channel, by the way. I'll, incl I'll include a link in the description. And then I still have the usual Smeasual Sword. I really want to upgrade here. But here are the weapons. This one is... can't view it, unfortunately. But as you can see, they all have their own stat boost. Um, those need to be unlocked, of course. Ginormous Hammer. That'll be fun to try out. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. And some of them are really dedicated to speed or parrying, whatever you want. Now this one looks cool. I remember in Assassin's Creed 2 I had something like this. Oh yeah, that's going to be badass to try. Not too sure what to think of the maces. Not a big fan of them. They're a little bit slower. So, but the speed on that is pretty high actually. Look at that. So that's pretty impressive, okay. Then we move on. Got the rapier, of course, additional damage, a lot of them have the same modifiers. So we keep going here, saber, oh man, <laughs> oh that looks like it would be painful. So as you can see the weapons have an overall rating as well, uh, 5 stars, this is a 5 out of 5 so if you got this in co-op, people are going to be quite jealous. And the katana. Holy cow, look at that. That is sweet. It just reinforces the fact that we need an Asian-based Assassin's Creed game. I think we would all agree with that. Some of these look very familiar from the previous Assassin's Creed games. And that is it for the weapons. I'm going to be sure to show you guys the weapons that are hidden and it requires see it has requirements you got to do murder mystery to gain them so I'm sure you're gonna want to get these what does it require so this requires a story mission it seems so you got to go through the story to get some of the best of the best in weapons so those are the weapons for one-handed only what so then we move on to the long weapons Sort of keep forgetting that Arno can use more than just swords. So I'm going to scroll through these really fast for you guys. That's cool. It's like a trident. Poseidon's trident. That's what I would name it. Looks like someone wants to go fishing. Be good for catching fish. By the way, let me know if you guys want to see hunting return. Um, to Assassin's Creed. I know that uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue has hunting. It's always been a franchise that has hunting, but this game does not have that. I think it would be cool if there was a little forested area that you could go to on horseback and then hunt and then uh, maintain some sort of survival like you had to eat. I think that would be pretty neat. I know that's not what Assassin's Creed is all about, but it would be cool to see some sort of game mode like that, especially in co-op because they've just built such an amazing world. Look at this one. Holy crap, I think I'm going to really try to get this one. Oh my gosh, with the speed. You know, I really do feel like this uh, combat system is really about 
keeping your enemy on their toes. So speed is going to be extremely important. These are going to be your two-handed heavy weapons, which by the way, you do not have to put down this time. So you can just keep carrying them along your journey. Don't know if I'm going to be uh, partial to these or not. Because, yep, they're pretty slow. Very, very slow. I usually suck with these type of weapons. But I will definitely try them. You can count on it. That's different. Isn't that just different? Sword staff. I can see the whole thing. Spike Battle Club. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Claymore. It really is an RPG now. I will just say it. I mean, they've got all the weapons, they've got the stats behind the weapons, the gear even have uh, our, our stat base now. So, ooh, how decorative. Terrible speed, though. And we've got the pistols. Bum, 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 bum. Arno, going long range here. Oh, that one's awesome. They're just going to get better and better as we go along here. Boy. Ah, look at that. Three shot duck foot. <laughs> Inaccurate weapon. Yeah, I'm sure that wasn't used as often as some might think. Look at that crazy thing. Holy crap. Wait, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the range. Yep. I am noticing that you really do need a ranged uh, assassin when you go into co-op. It's extremely important. Look at the blunderbuss. No, no, it's a flintlock. I definitely want a rifle. This is something... I know you can fight with it, too. It's pretty cool. I've seen some video showing that off. Oh, I want to see the blunderbuss. What do you have to do? Murder mystery? Killed by signs? Okay. So you're going to really want to check out the murder mysteries in this game. They really want you playing them. You must have the ranged weapon skill to equip this weapon. That thing looks badass, that's for sure. Very decorative as you get into the more expensive weapons here. Oh yeah. Okay, so those are the weapons. Now, we're going to move on to the equipment. Arno's gear, this is one of my favorite parts of the game of course you have colors so we'll, we'll check out those first I'm gonna go ahead and do the default color just in case if you guys don't care for the green I'm sure most of you like the default look so let me know what color of uh, assassin you're going with what you're gonna deck him out with I really do like the green but I do like the default look to be honest with you and the colors aren't too crazy, but they are pretty vibrant. Oh, that's pretty cool. I do like the greens for some reason. That's cool. The white. For some reason, it reminds me of uh, Altair from Assassin's Creed 1. So we're going to keep going here. As you can see, tons of options. <laughs> Look at his red. Ah. That really sticks out. No idea how you're supposed to blend in as an assassin when you are all red. Okay, then we got some purple. Oil purple. I don't have... Do I have the money? Yes, I do. Okay, so, we got some headgear. And again, see all the modifiers? And as we go along here, you will see... That's cool. The hood's getting better and better. Better and better indeed. Now, can I buy a new one, you know? Let me see here. I should buy a new one. I'll do that later. Yeah, the Eagle Vision range. It seems like you're really going to want to upgrade that, by the way. Because it's really small in the game. Additional money loot. That would be cool. And then health. It just seems like this game, when you get into combat, expect to die. Health, stealth. 
Oh, cool. Now that's awesome. It's cool how it extends outward, the hood. Check that out again. Look at this. Can you do full screen? Oh, you can. So you can just see how much variety there is just with the outfits alone. Communal sense range. Now that's a uh, perk I use, so this is something I would probably be interested in. Oh, that's cool. Leather. Leather looking uh, hood right there. Oh yeah, look. Huh, <laughs> that's awesome. More decorative than most of them. Almost looks like a bandit in some ways. Let's see. And it really does help with the communal sense. Is this unlocked? No, it's not. Awesome. That's one of my favorites right there. Keep on going. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should switch over to health, especially near the beginning of the game. I don't know, we'll see. Let me know what type of uh, assassin you're going with. Health. Oops. Actually, I lost my place here. Health, um... Or stealth. Or ranged. So, where did we leave off? Just keep going here. Hopefully I didn't skip over any of them. Nope. We're good. Oh, good. So you can see, just get an idea. That is sweet, expensive. And you could hack. Hmm, haven't tried that yet. We'll take a look at that later. Definitely. Now we've got the chest pieces. This is the original one that I started out with. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry. Here we go. Here we go. This is the one I started out with. And we move on. Take a look at these. Pretty awesome. I will say so myself. And uh, I'm really gonna... I would really encourage focusing on one area. Try not to be a jack-of-all-trades um, in this game. Go into co-op with your friend, saying what role you're going to play, because it seems to help a ton in this game. And distracting, by the way. Anymore, when I look at this game, I really think of it as a co-op game more than anything else. That one's really cool. Yeah, that one's awesome. What is this one? Yeah. They're all just amazing looking. I mean, that's one thing about Assassin's Creed that they usually do really well is the aesthetics of the characters. Keep going here. And then we'll be uh, showing off um, Altair's outfit in just a moment. Wow, there are a ton of them. Oh my god. Let's see here. It just keeps going, guys. And they're getting expensive. This guy means business. Wow. Do not want to mess with him. And we're getting into the health class big time. Hmm, that's different looking. Cool looking pattern. And there you go. There's the chest. These I really haven't looked at these at all. Need to upgrade big time. So we're gonna go through these really fast. There's just tons of them. It's crazy how much options there are. It's sort of overwhelming. That's why I do recommend again. Uh, to really stick with a certain class at first. Now you will be able to eventually become a master assassin take on the role of every, you know, every class. So you really don't have to be too choosy. If you mess up at the beginning, just know you'll be able to play as 
every class eventually without having to switch profiles, so that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that was really big. Those look oversized to me for some reason. So we got the belts. That is awesome. It's a Uplay item. Ugh. I hardly remember my Uplay password. Uplay. Sort of a pain, but oh well. Okay. Pretty awesome looking belts. I like the belts that have the red, bright red um, wrapping. Pretty cool. Now these actually give you more ammunition, cherry bombs, things like that. So these are going to be extremely important. Wow, I need to upgrade big time. Cannot wait to play more of this game. Okay, that one's awesome. Okay, that's sweet. You know not to mess with someone wearing that belt buckle. Oh man, it's crazy expensive though. Jeez. Okay, then we got the leg. Leggings. Let's skip up. Okay, we're gonna go through these really fast. These reduce falling and noise. Yeah, I've noticed the enemies are really keen on spotting you, so upgrading is gonna be imperative. Definitely. That's cool. Two, these are a little bit cheaper. I want to see how expensive they get. Let's find out here. Oh boy. Now we're getting super expensive. Yeah, I want something like that. Something with lines in it. We can stick out. That's cool. Alright, so there you guys have it. The leggings. Then we have the outfits. Oh, play the Assassin's Creed Unity Companion. So, uh, I will include a link in the description on how to do that. That's going to be important. As you can see, we can't see this one, unfortunately. That's a bummer. Here's Shay's outfit now. He is from Assassin's Creed Rogue, so that is really cool. And I've seen some uh, spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there are connections to Assassin's Creed Rogue in Assassin's Creed Unity and uh, Rogue, of course. So you'll be seeing crossover storytelling uh, between the games. And you really get to see the next-gen outfits. That's cool. That is cool. My favorite one isn't here, though. It's the Assassin's Creed 2 uh, robe. The original. It's never usually in the game. Yubi! Now, now they have the Brotherhood one. But I really, really, really want... The other one. Hmm. Oh, well. So there are the outfits from Assassin's Creed Unity. Then we've got the boost and co-op skills. Group healing, as you can see, this is what you can basically do in the co-op as an active skill. And I'm using the communal sense right now, simply because nothing else is unlocked at the moment. It really does work well. It has helped big time. So, these are your active boosts. And you can read them, pause the video, check it out. I might go into more details on which ones are my favorite in a later video. Recommend some for certain missions, so stay tuned for that. Oh no! Just happened. That's a bummer.
And here are the boosts. So these are what you can equip during co-op play. And they could remain active. They're pretty useful. I haven't really used them though, because I feel like I don't know. I'll, I probably will use them, but I guess I like to keep the game on a level playing field, so to speak. I'm really big into having the game a little bit challenging. That's one thing I really, really like about Assassin's Creed Unity is they offer a challenge uh, for the game. Now we're going to go on to free roam exploration for you guys. And I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm going to actually change... I really wanted to see colors here. What do we have for colors? More expensive. So we're going to be taking a look at the map now. Let's take a look at that map. And uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, is just go down south. Let's go to this point. And then we'll probably circle around here. So, let's do this. Wow, it looks huge. So, this is really my first time free roaming, by the way. So, you can experience this with me. Let's do this. See what adventures we can find. God, it's far. There's no horses in this game. So, really gotta traverse Paris on foot, which is cool. Hopefully we see some horses though in like a rural countryside. It really does break up the gameplay sometimes. I love to climb, so we're going to climb anyway. Dude, I know I believe in you. He is fast. Again. This area. Trees. Then you just hold down RT and uh, B, then move forward, and he will go down automatically. Which is new. It's a nice addition to the parkour. So the Paris stories are basically replacing um, the Assassin's contracts that we used to play. And they actually have their own narrative now, instead of just being a pigeon you grab, and then you're on your way doing something you don't really understand. Now there's more bearing and meaning to everything. I, you can do what I believe in you. I hear the birds. I'm curious to see if any music starts playing. I hear, I hear some ambient sounds. Now we're getting into a really different looking district here. Okay, I hear some music. Good. Yay! So, for those of you that were concerned about music, seems like there's some. I don't know if it's going to be on the level of Jasper Kid, but that's there. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, cool. Can I? Ah! I'm supposed to climb it. I want to climb it. Uh, it looks like you can. It would have been so cool. Um, uh, so we got this. Okay. And they've really... And they've really made um, it a lot more fun to explore the rooftops because there's hardly... Well, there's actually a lot of guards, actually. I remember them saying that there wasn't, so this is new to me. Liars! What are they all doing? Probably drunk. Probably drunk. Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't really seen this area before in video, so... Sweet. Check it out. My Arno standing epically. Viewing the distance. Look at the smokestacks. This looks like a poverty-ridden area, definitely. 
because it was just terrible living in this time. Oh, oh, oh. Now, there's a co-op mission. Sweet. So, see how long it takes just to get to this area? I was basically in... Um... The center of the map when I started here. I started this video up, so... It's taking quite some time. Love how he has a forward momentum, you know? It's not like he... Just suddenly decides to stop. You just really keep going forward compared to most Assassin's Creed games. Even if you're... Even if you're sort of goofing up. He knows to go forward. Uh oh. Slow your roll. It's amazing. Hello there. Uh, let's go this way. And as he climbs, let's see him climb. This is beautiful. <laughs> I'm like totally enjoying myself zoning out right now. So if I'm quiet, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not speaking too much. Uh, Oh, no, you seem confused. There you go. So we're going to sync this up here. Right quick, right quick. Uh, if I can find the sync points. I'm having trouble finding the sync points. You're the eagle. Oh. Doi! So this looks like one of the poor districts, in my opinion. There's some forested region on the outskirts here. So, you get an idea of how big Paris is right now. So this is where we are. We basically began in the center of the map. It took quite some time. Now we can go over here. Let's try that. Okay, that's going to take forever. So what we will do is do that in a brand new video. Look forward to part two of free roaming all of Paris shortly. Thank you guys for watching once again. I really appreciate all of your support. We recently hit 115,000 subscribers out here on YouTube. It feels like only yesterday we hit 100,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you all for your comments your likes, your shares, it means the world to me. So look forward to more open world gaming goodness right here on YouTube as we continue exploring virtual Paris.